Today on the show, we are in search of trade secrets on how you can run a successful bespoke premium business right here in Nigeria. And to do that, we're speaking to a young Nigerian entrepreneur by the name of Bayo Ojo, who has run his premium shoe business called Overall from 2011 till now. We're going to be speaking to him about his business journey, his successes, his failures, and his challenges. And if we get a little bit nosy, we might even talk to him about his personal life also. I am I'm Sika Ose, and welcome to Fashion Insider. Hi, Bio. Hi. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for being on Fashion Insider. Thank you for having me. I mean, because you are a shoe brand, the first thing that I'm going to look at are your shoes, shoes. Okay. and you're looking really dapper. I really love this. So this is one of yours, right? Yes, these are called the Flexi Fit Soles. Um, the Flexi Fit Soles. Flexi Fit Soles. Okay, so. The thicker soles, uh, they are really convertible. They're like um, sporty wear. You can wear them every day. Okay. It's just for, for the everyday man. For the everyday man. Yes. I mean, you have a, it's a bespoke business, so I don't think you're really targeting the everyday man, yeah, are you? The ones that are not for the everyday man are these ones. These are the ones that are for weddings, that Got for you. Um, dinners, okay. for balls and the rest. And okay. these ones are the ones that are for trad. Um, yes. Cool, yeah. But very these ones nice. are for everyday, they're really comfortable. They're very comfortable. They look really, really comfortable. So for the everyday man, yes. are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Because, I mean, it's a bespoke business. It is. So you're, you're, you're very targeted with who your market is, right? Yeah, but we have a really wide array of clients, so people really need to know about the brand. Because okay. we're in business yes. to make money, not, not in business to just be there for the sake of being there. That's right. Yes. But I can also see that there's an array of okay. shoes, so everybody can get their pick. Yes, definitely. Let's talk about why shoes, where your passion for shoes came from. Um, I really do like shoes. Um, I think I have about 60 or 70 pairs of Are shoes. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. And uh, when I see someone coming towards me, the first thing I look at is shoes, like yeah. I make shoe contact for okay. eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Definitely, so yeah. she's like, are my shoes okay? Yeah, your shoes are really you, nice. You sure? Yeah. They, they go with yeah. my outfit. Yeah, and they look really comfy too. Yes, they are actually very comfortable, oh, which is also what your shoes look like. Yeah, thank you. So the first time you decided, I'm going to go into the shoe business in Nigeria. Yes. What was the whole like idea? What was the whole vision? Uh, the whole idea was, uh, I've seen a lot of people with shoes that are not really nice. Okay. They're just trying to change the status quo and make things better. Okay. And make people have shoes that are really affordable, shoes that are nice, shoes that are proudly Nigerian. That's right. Yes, and trying to reduce people exporting shoes. Shoes people, or yes, importing, importing shoes. shoes. Okay. Like that, yeah. So trying to make it an homegrown brand and gotcha. people buy things that are made in Nigeria. So okay. So all about the homegrown brand and make people buy our own product Products. as to buying Zara, Givenchy and the likes. Okay. Yes. So you spoke about the price point. Yes. What is the price point of your the shoes? Price point. Because they look so well made. Can anybody afford these shoes? They're actually what, affordable. What, what, what is the, the price uh, point? From 35000 Okay. To 75000 Those are these ones here. Okay. Yes. So what what are these made of that makes them 75000 These are made 000? of genuine leather soles okay. and leather uppers. These are made of rubber soles. Okay. Yes. We'll talk about where you source your materials from, yes. but you also spoke about how you want people to move away from the Gucci's, yes. the Givenchy's, you know, and come to um, home um, grow. Um, has that yeah. been a challenge? Yeah, it has been a challenge. How, how, wh what has been the biggest challenge about Nigerians that? Nigerians love to buy names. Yes. Like, okay, I'm wearing Gucci, I'm wearing Givenchy. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, yeah, Gucci gang, Bottega, that's right. I'm wearing Louis Vuitton. Yes. Why not buy homegrown brands so we can make the economy better and inspire people here to buy okay things that are made that in. are made in nigeria yes. but i think the perception also is that things that are made here are not as well made, made uh, okay, as yeah. the things outside so what have you done to change that perception uh, we're making quality shoes yes. and we're trying to uh, make people see that uh, homegrown products can be great yeah do more adverts quality control checks um, get a, a good clientele base, get yeah. people to say good things about the brand, customer service, feedback. Customer service. service. Yeah, that's really key. Which is key very, to very business. key. Are you the only person that's involved with the whole overall No, I have brand? four other partners. I see. Um, three of them were my mates in uni, and one of them is a really close friend. 
So you've known them, them for, for a yes, minute. Yes. So it's actually very important because yes. we know we talk about people, talk about how you build a successful brand, brand yes. and it's about keeping the right kind of people like yes. around you, right? Yes. Like I'm actually followed the dream. Yes. That know what you like and what you're trying to do. So you guys are need together as well. That's one. right. Yes. How has it been so far? What do you think has been the biggest challenge that you faced um, having such a brand here in Nigeria? Um, sourcing for materials. Yes. Trying to um, get people to buy, trying mm. to get people to believe in the in, brand. In the brand. Yeah, it has taken us a while to do that, but now it's better. People it's better. actually believe in the brand. Now I'm seeing suede, I'm seeing leather, leather. I'm seeing so many different... Yeah, there's actually a wide array of um, distinct materials that we use. These are velvet slippers, okay. these, are, these are double monk leather shoes, these are suede shoes, suede loafers and these are... Velvet slippers also. We won't have the glitter edition. These are the ones. Yes, that have the I like that. Glitter cap toes. Yeah, these are for weddings and people that enjoy nightlife and the, want to actually show off. I'm like, look at my shoes. I'm blinking. Yeah, blinking yeah. That's so right. That's but where do you source your materials from? We source them here. Tell us, please. Is we, it in the north? Is it in the south? Where? It's actually in the south. So them here. Okay. Yes. And how did you go about finding these, like, you know, these suppliers? Just basic research mm. and trying to get the best people that have the best quality of products for us here. Yes. Yes. So, so quality control. Quality control is key, yes. Like, very, very before key. Before a shoe comes out of the factory, we actually check that it is up to standard yes. and it's top notch. So yeah. we want people out there saying those shoes are not nice and I got them from overall. So what people say about your, your product really counts. So it goes a long way important. in getting more clients yes so that's what we do so we don't do double standards here the mm. quality is great excellent got you yes did you actually go to school to or, or some sort of institution or some, some sort of training no nah, i'm an architect by training you're so an architect, architect. Yes. so why the change from architecture to shoes shoes architecture yes because it's a design so anybody that has an architectural background can do things like this. Yes, definitely. So do you still do houses and buildings? Yes, I still do. You that. do. So that's the, so. Is this the side hustle or is that the side hustle? They both go on in hand. They go together yes, because yes. you can't do one it thing and make. It's a symbiotic relationship. I see. Yes. How else have you been able to promote the brand? Uh, promoting via our website, okay. um, Instagram, brand referral. Referral is the major thing. Yes. Once you treat one person well, we can bring you a hundred clients. That's yes. the thing about. Shoes. Mm. People, people ask, okay, where do you get these shoes from? They are really unique and nice. And oh, overalls, they are a uh, social place. So people come basically from referral. That's the major. That's the major then thing. Social media, Instagram. Yes. Then actually people walking into the store and to buy like shoes. That. Yes, definitely. I mean, you talked about your clientele and having a very good clientele. clientele goes, from yeah. what we tell, you have a very, very big and successful clientele. A lot of celebrities. Buy the shoes. Do you want to buy the shoes? Yes. I mean, can you name some of the celebrities that are, you know, wearing some of the overall brands mm -hmm. and shoes right now? DJ Spino. Okay. David Doe. David Doe. Ice Prince. So did you make a custom one for David Doe? Uh, we gave him a pair of shoes, um, the FlexiFit ones. Okay. Yes, with tassels. Yes. Yes, and for DJ Spinelli, he has the ones with the Osbit back. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Have you had difficult clients? Yes, we have. How do you deal with difficult clients? Just make them, assure them that you're going to give them their product as a, when they're going to get it and make sure the product comes the way you tell them it's going to come and it's top-notch quality and yes. they keep coming back to buy more okay. after their first impression about the brand because first impression really lasts it does long in okay. business yes so. is this a high risk business uh, not really no really. no it's not, it's not risk is it anymore. a high returns business um fair enough <laughs> No, <laughs> Why are you being humble fair, now? Fair returns. Why are you being humble? Fair returns. It's not so high. It's not fair, so high. Fair returns. Okay. But in business, we're trying to make people happy, trying to give people quality. That's the thing. Yes. Okay? Yes. So even if you don't really make a lot of money, making people happy actually is good for business. Interesting. Yes. So tell me, what inspires the creative process? Of these shoes? Um, basically, we have a creative director, okay. someone who actually does that, who is in charge of designing, okay. bringing up new designs, seeing what was in vogue, what people like to wear now. Got you. Does a sketch, he actually sketches from ground up and brings out the product. Then we do a test run of the particular new product. product. Then How do you do the test run? We make sample pairs. And okay. Then we you show them to your clients, them to clients to see how they, like, they really react nice. to it. Yes, then from there people start ordering because we run a 
bespoke and ready to wear line. Yes. Yeah, these ones here are ready to wear shoes. Are people that can Got just come you. on and buy off the rack and yes. there are ones that you can actually order for. I see. Yeah, there are ones that can even have your name branded on it on the side yes so, i see so, so sort of yes. like a little nice personalized that's, gifts and things yeah, like that's that what we, do. Yeah, we do bespoke and ready to wear got you shoes. how much does like that go for that goes for about if i wanted you know seeker give them yeah, <laughs> on that, a shoe that goes for about forty five thousand. okay regardless yes. of what it, is. what it is yes very very interesting yes. so are you planning on going into any other business apart oh. from this though uh, not for now, for now, but we're trying to master the art of making shoes. Okay. Then from there. And you did say that you're somebody that likes to learn New and design. just be abreast. I yeah. Watch, I watch shoe documentaries. Okay. Try and keep myself abreast with new designs in yes. the industry and just be high up there. Okay. Because we're trying to set this pace in Nigeria, we're trying to be the biggest shoe making in Nigeria. brand in Nigeria and Africa. It's and in Africa. We're trying to grow a world class brand. Definitely. Now, I know, like you said, this takes a lot of your time, but you yes. have other times to do other things. I mean, what's the personal life like when you're being an entrepreneur in Nigeria? Um, what my personal life? Yes. It's actually boring. It can't very, be that boring. Very boring. It can't be that boring. It is boring, I yeah? can tell you. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am, actually. Okay. So you're better half, you know, she's very supportive of the fact that yeah. you have to spend a lot of the yeah, time definitely, here. Definitely, yes. I is. see. And did you do something special for her for Valentine's? Yes, I did. Did you Did you get, like, nice bespoke shoes from no, overall? No, no. She has a lot that already, so I just got her flowers and cake. And Aww, that's really, things. really sweet. Thank you. So, but why are you not making shoes for women? I don't understand. We make shoes for women, basically on others, strictly on others. We can't, because women are really detailed with the colors they want. Yes. They can tell you they want beige, maroon, <laughs> violet. Why does everybody say women are between, difficult What's the between now? maroon, burgundy, violet, There's purple, a difference. beige? What's There's the difference? A difference. Okay, There's the shade. A slight difference in shade. You know, we're, we're very specific. Yeah, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Women, he's joking. He loves you. Yeah, he's he's going to make shoes for you one day. Definitely. But is there is there something that we should look forward to with regards to overall, um, you know, in the coming future? New products. Okay. Yeah, new products definitely coming. In soon. the shoe business. In the shoe so. business, new products and a couple of other accessories to go with your shoes. Okay. Definitely. Like what? Yeah, you can have nice shirts. Okay. Nice white shirts, nice. Interesting. Um, so you're going into that fashion side of the business. Yes, just make it bigger. A bigger brand, a more holistic, more holistic brand. brand yeah. So it's going to be a one-stop shop for um, shoes, okay. shirts, Got and you. cufflinks, accessories, basically. Wow, yes, that's nice going future. to be a lot. Yes. But I believe in you. I think you're going to be able to handle it and do yeah, it Yeah, we well. got Everything is possible. Everything is possible. possible. Well, thank you for being on Fashion Insider. Thank you very much. And all the best with your, with your dreams and your vision. I think you're going to do absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. And I think based on this and all that we've seen here, we know that overall premium brand is going to be taking over Africa and probably the rest of the world. And we can't wait to see them doing that. Thank you for being here on Fashion Insider. Make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms for this and so much more. I've been Sikao Se. See you next time. Thank you.